Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Jasmine. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go down below, hit that subscribe button. While you're down there, if you can tap the like button, I would really appreciate it. All right, Jasmine on the weekly time frame. I want to do a really quick update. Uh, for anybody who's missed all my videos. Jasmine is in a falling wedge, broke out of the falling wedge, getting resistance right here at the 382 fib level on the retracement, getting stuck there for one, two, three, and now four weeks. And now you're all caught up. <laughs> all right, let's zoom in here and see what's going on. So I got a couple things I want to talk about. Um, I did talk about getting rejected off of this 382, and it'd be a lot of resistance at that 382, which is sitting at the 008 ish level just above that uh, and the reason why is because it's a 382 fib retracement that's a pretty heavy one right there but also you can see that we've got all this previous support over here and then a breakdown uh, from this wedge and uh, so trying to get above that in one go is probably not going to happen i mean this was weeks uh how many weeks was this i'm on the weekly time frame so this was 18 weeks it took uh, before it broke down below that and so now we're going the other direction. So, I mean, I'm actually kind of thinking, and I think I said this before, that I think we're going to do something similar to this, create some kind of a, a wedge here, and then break to the upside this time is what I'm kind of looking for. But let's go down to the daily. I want to show you a couple of other things here. So if this is a rising uh, or a, a, some kind of a wedge that we're getting into here, something like that maybe, uh, first off, problem is we didn't come up and retest the top here which is what i was hoping we would do we actually broke down from that and right now we are currently sitting at um support for that now you could also i mean this trend lines can be moved all the time that's why i'm not a big fan you could actually move that there and then maybe move this here for a longer wedge something like that which actually seems more likely especially since once i get into this these orange lines here in a second uh, so this seems to actually more likely to happen um, is something like this where we get the wedge going. I'm still not really happy that we didn't come up and at least get a wick up here or touch this uh, resistance line. I and mean, let's do a fib here from the top over here down to the bottom and we'll see where we get. So, yeah, we can see we were getting rejected, rejected off that 618. We had one push to the upside and then just a failed uh, attempt to go up and break down there. And... Um, uh, yeah, so and if we flip this around from this bottom to this top, you can see that right now we are holding the 0.5, let me move this line, the 0.5 fib right here, we're holding it right at the 0067 area. Um, and so we're holding that line, but it's not looking good. I mean, we go down to the Cypher B here on the, on the daily time frame, we've got a lower wave coming in. Um, you know, it just looks like it wants to go down further. And hopefully, I mean, if we come and we hold this 618, that would actually hold our trend line as well. Uh, so that's what I'd be looking for. But let's go down to the 12 hours so I can show you what these orange lines here are. You can clearly see that this was in some kind of a rising uh, wedge here. And those are technically bearish. And so that's basically what's playing out here. So we had this rising wedge come in and then just couldn't do it anymore broke down once it broke down it just continued on and the actual price target of this wedge would be to come all the way down to let me move this over here the price target for this wedge would to bring it down to the 786 actually uh, which brings us down to the 0062 area uh, but that would also break us down from this trend line which would not be a good thing what i would not like to see is for us to fall down hit that 786 come back up get resistance at that trend line and then fall even further which i mean if it did do that you can see that the 200 ema on the 12 hour is actually right there um so that would be my next level of support so i mean if you look at this right here if we're gonna break down even further this would be kind of what i'd be looking at for these you know for us to fall down hit that 786 come back up retest this uh, as resistance then come back down and finally uh, find some support here at the 200 EMA on the 12 hour time frame. That would give the Cypher B here plenty of time to reset. Uh, that would also bring the RSI down quite a bit, hopefully not into the oversold area. I wouldn't like to see that. Uh, but 
then we can continue on to the upside. And if this is a, let's see, maybe an ABC correction going on here, a, a larger one, you know, you got your AB and then a C correction, something like that possibly playing out. Not really sure. I haven't really looked into that yet. So that's just kind of just a spitballing off the top of my head there. Uh, but this uh, rising wedge here is looks like it's definitely playing out. Uh, again, the price target is the 0062 area, uh, but I would really like to see us hold that 618 area sitting around that 0065 area, uh, because then my theory of this um, this wedge right here for a breakout to the upside, and the breakout wouldn't happen until beginning of March, March 7th would be March 7th through the 15th or 10th or something like that would be roughly my guess. But again, this theory is kind of yeah, I'm not really sure about it just because we didn't come up and we didn't retest the 008 level uh, in this area right here, which is a little concerning to me. Uh, but again, right now we're holding that 0.5. Next target is that 06, uh, the 618 FIB, then the 786, and then all the way down to wherever the 200 EMA is at that time on the 12 hour time frame. Let's go to the four hour really quick just so we can look at a very shorter time frame uh, and see what's going on here. So actually, we do have so. I guess we do have the 200 EMA hitting that 786 almost right now on the four hour time frame. So that would be fairly strong support in my opinion. Uh, so we might not even go down to the 12 hour 200 EMA. So we could just fall down and hit that 786, which is where the 200 EMA would be. Find support there and at that point, we probably would have the Cypher B curling over and getting a green dot, something like we saw back over here. Uh, and then we're looking for this kind of, you know, shorter wave right here and a break above the zero line on the Cypher B, which has happened right over here. And we got a nice move to the upside. Uh, so that'd be kind of what I'm looking for for a continuation right now. Short term, I am a little bit bearish, uh, but obviously long term, if you've seen my videos, I'm very bullish on Jasmine. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we are looking like a corrections coming in. Uh, which it already has, but a little bit further possibly, and even not much further if we are just going to go down to the 618 here. So pretty much all I got for Jasmine. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, share with your friends, and I will talk to you later.